Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a general reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Okay, so if you have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, this message is for you. Um, if it resonates, please hit the like, share, subscribe. Um, and if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. Okay, Pisces, let's jump into your reading. Because this is looking like uh, you're manifesting something. It looks like you're manifesting... It looks like a relationship, and you've manifested two people, but it's looking a little, a little odd. Okay, so let's start off in the top part of uh, your spread. So we got the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Ten of... Uh, nine of Swords in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the No card, and the Magician in the Upright, which is good as far as the Magician goes. So, like, currently in your energy, it looks like you are in, like, a recovery mode. You're recovering, and what you're recovering from is this Nine of Pentacles. This says lack of overinvestment in work, hustling, frugality. But either you could be working too much and you're getting some rest. Nine of Pentacles could also say that um, someone in your energy is jealous of you. And they could be jealous of your work. Maybe your work ethic I wouldn't be. I mean, you would know. You would know, Pisces. Okay, and then you get the no card, okay? So, and then you're the magician. Let's continue. Let's see what this no is about. Okay, so the magician means that you are manifesting. You're resourceful. You have everything you need um, at your fingertips to bring about whatever it is that you want, which is great because following that, in the second part of the spread, we have the two of wands. Okay, so that means um, you got some future planning, some progress, some decision making. Ho ho ho. Okay, what are you up to, Pisces? Mm, you're waiting for results um, on a choice, and you might have some travel. You might be traveling, okay? So, yeah, so there's definitely a choice, and there's there are two male masculine energies <laughs> uh you know because it could be man or woman depending on you know who's listening and who's this resonating with but the energy that this person carries is masculine or the energy that these people carry you have a knight of pentacles and an emperor so you have a knight of pentacles in reverse you got the hangman in the upright and the emperor in reverse the you first glance you like what are what kind of options are these like ah uh, uh. so especially with this knight of pentacles in reverse this is not no pisces and that's probably what i was thinking when i saw the no card um so there's you have two choices out of the two one of them is better than the other but let's keep talking about both these people so your knight of pentacles um in the reverse is someone's bored they're feeling stuck and they're an undisciplined person okay they're they're also this is a chaotic person with um sexual excess and impulsivity so when they come at you uh they're probably going to come at you for sex like you are possibly trying to manifest a relationship but you got a knight of pentacles coming at you for sex okay so yeah no to that guy i mean i can't even see anything <laughs> That's saying anything good about this. But then you're in hangman mode too, okay? So you're in hangman mode because you need to step back and um, you need to uh, pause to actually see your choices here, okay? And also it's asking you to let go. You know, this Knight of Pentacles person could be a past person. Another reason why um, the divine is saying no, you know, <laughs> hail to the no, because maybe you've ended it, you know, you moved on, you're in manifestation mode, you're working and um, maybe this person wants to come back around, but uh, it's saying no. Okay. So you're in hangman mode. You're looking at both these uh, masculine energies and you're trying to figure out which one is, you know, going to fit for you. So let's look at your um, emperor. Your emperor is in the reverse. 
okay so that's why i was like damn like what how you manifesting these punk asses <laughs> so okay so this emperor the, when the emperor is in the reverse you're dealing with um someone who's like a little domineering excessive controlling they're lacking discipline right now which is odd for the emperor because the emperor is you know that's the man with all the structure man with the money too um and they're inflexible okay i, I don't know i don't know what's going on with your emperor and also the emperor in reverse is someone who is um immature you know mm-hmm wow okay why is this guy in the reverse let's look at the bottom half of the spread okay okay this might let us know why your emperor is acting up so we got the ten of pentacles in reverse five of cups in the upright ten of swords in the upright and we have six of swords in the upright okay the ten of pentacles in reverse speaks to the dark side of wealth it's talking about financial uh, failure or loss black sheep the ten of pentacles in reverse also could talk about um family issues family conflict um issues with inheritance so maybe they could be going through they could be going through a divorce and their money is a little shaky right now um they could actually be going through family conflict with money as far as an inheritance goes maybe there's some money that's supposed to come to them and somebody's being a little controlling um so that's one thing that your emperor is going through then we see the five of cups it's not the only thing um the five of cups talks about regret failure disappointment and being pessimistic okay mm. yeah they're re they're regretting because and they're in some sort of grief they feel abandoned and and unloved hmm Abandoned, unloved, disappointed, and they're in a negative vibe, being pessimistic. They like, you know, probably looking at you like you're gonna do something to them. You ain't gonna what? Come on now. So and okay, it they are feeling all this regret because they went through a ten of swords moment, and ten of swords is just awful. That's like the bottom of the bottom. Um it was a painful ending, uh, deep wounds, betrayal, loss, crisis. Yeah. Oof. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hidden rock bottom. Okay. So this is why your emperor is in reverse. They have, there's some money issues going on possibly a failed relationship that they're coming out of but but pisces your person is either going to or needs to step into the six of swords which is um six of swords is about transition change it's a rite of passage that they're going to go through but in order to go through this it's a necessary change that they have to do Probably the way your emperor has been behaving or acting um, has been going on longer than it was supposed to. Like, I don't think that this behavior is meant for your emperor. Like, this is not. And now they have to actually probably step into the emperor in the upright mode to be the real emperor. They probably have what it takes to be the emperor and not an emperor in, in reverse. But um, they got to get through the, this release in the baggage means they have to let go of the hurt of the Ten of Swords the regret and disappointment of the five of cups and get over their um, ego money issues and things like that. Okay. And let's see. Oh, wow. You got you just got to love tarot. How consistent it is. At the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, which is uh, transition. It's ending, change, transformation, transition, which, which just um, goes right along with your six of swords okay this person has to change they have to change and when the death card is in the upright it's they they have to change 
<laughs> okay, so Pisces, I'm going to tell you that if your emperor in reverse does not change, leave him alone. So let's see what's at the top. Oh, okay. We got the star. We got the star. There's hope. There's hope. It's the universe is um, it's going to help out with this. Something's going to come through and it's going to help him or her um, go through this transition. And, and it it's so funny because the magician card is sitting right above the emperor, which means I think the spread is saying, you know, this is the person you need to manifest. And yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this jealousy card, this nine of pentacles that, you know, talks about this jealousy is sitting right above the knight of pentacles, which is that person from the past that you need to leave alone. Because that person is hating on you. Hating on you, but trying to come back in your energy. So in your hangman mode, Pisces, um, really look at these guys or girls and figure out what's best for you. But don't decide on any, say no to the past, but don't, um, until you see real change with this emperor in reverse, don't, I wouldn't start anything new so soon with them. You need to see some changes. You need to see that this person is actually going through their, their rite of passage. But don't worry about it because I think the, the divine's got your back. So focus on yourself. Keep on healing um, and stay in that magician mode. Manifest more things other than a relationship. All right. See you, Pisces. Oh, if, you, if this reading resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you would like to book a reading with me, um, you can email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. All right, guys.